welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tabitha Marie and I'm so happy that you could tune in to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we are going to do my everyday kind of basic look, which for me is all about a good pair of lashes and a super matte face. So if you're interested in seeing how to achieve a everyday look with some bomb lashes, then please keep on watching. All right, so to go ahead and start off this video, I have already cleansed my skin. I have moisturized and I'm going to put on some primer. So for me, being a super oily girl, I bounce between these two primers here. I'm gonna add a little bit of this one. Because I am so oily, like I'm not even kidding. I know this seems like a lot for some people that are not oily. I like to set my skin in my problem areas with some powder. Powder in 25, you guys have seen me use this multiple times. What else has been going on? with you guys leave me some comments if you have bought any new makeup products i went by walgreens and picked up a few items i was excited to see um wet and wild has some new products revlon what else black radiance came out with a darker contour palette so they have light medium and medium dark and now they have deep to dark or dark to deep which is really good because they are expanding to meet all skin types okay so once i have my powder on i'm gonna go ahead and use my foundation lately i have been mixing these two foundations this is the nyx can't stop won't stop you know you guys know i swear by this and i've been adding in the la girl pro coverage yeah they are really good so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that on To spray this brush a little bit because this foundation does mattify pretty quickly so I'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray whatever you have available will work all right so for my everyday I don't go in with a lot of foundation and this may be a lot to some of you but to me this is like literally not enough <laughs> Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer to conceal my under eyes. This concealer is full coverage. The cocoa and latte and just add a little bit to my under eyes. So I've been using this e.l.f. brush. This is the Flawless Concealer Brush. All right, so I have that concealer pretty much blended in. I'm gonna take that Morphe sponge and really just press that into my skin. All right, and I'm gonna take some of that Maybelline and mix in a little bit of this, what is this? <laughs> I'm gonna mix in my Makeup Revolution Luxe 3 Bacon Banana Powder and I just kind of shake it in all right so for my everyday look i still cream contour but this contour that you guys have seen me use so many times dries down to a powdery consistency and this is the black radiance contour stick and deep 8003 yes i know my eye looks really bad but it does not hurt it's a little irritating i'm trying some new contacts and I don't think that they are agreeing with me. So please forgive the red eye. It's not pink eye or anything of that nature. It's just a little irritated right now. So I'm just putting in some visine drops. But it's not working properly. I 
a um a red undertone to it so you have to be careful because you can put on way too much like i did but we're gonna just clean it up with our makeup sponge I feel like I brought my contour down just a little too far. So a quick way to clean that up is to take your foundation brush and just kind of push it back. Oh, so now that we have all of that zhuzh going on, we're just going to quickly set the contour with a little bit of powder. And I just love using my Black Radiance True Complexion. I know this is getting repetitive. This is why I edit it out of a lot of videos because I'm a creature of habit. Like I love products that I know are going to work and just do what they need to do for you. So I like to take this brush. I just recently got this brush um, from Forever 21 for Christmas and it was just $3 and it's so soft and fluffy. I love it. Hello, Jewel. Hello, Jewel. I love this video. <laughs> okay, so highlight is on. Girl, she popping. Yeah. I'm going for my everyday look. I already have my brows on as natural as can be. Okay. So I like to do super, super duper simple on the eyes. And I'm going to play with this palette here um it has a lot of colors and this is the masquerade mini by juvia's place you guys have seen me show you this in a haul and a video it's going to take a small uh, tapered fluffy blending brush this video is not sponsored by the way i just love elf products i love affordable products so shout out to affordable products all right, let's go ahead and pick up this shade right here. I'm gonna pick up the shade Zulu. Zulu? <laughs> Zulu. All right, so I have that color in and I'm going to take that first blending brush to blend out any harsh lines. I'm going to take this shade right here and it looks like it's called a dye, a day. It's right here. And I'm just going to pack that onto my lid space. All right, so to blend that out, we're gonna take the second brush that we use and dip a little bit into Zulu and buff those two colors in together. We'll be using these lashes right here. So I'm gonna apply the lashes off camera and I'll be right back so we can finish off the lips. All right, so lashes are on. Can we just take a moment to appreciate these lashes? Like, so face is done, eye look is done. I'm just gonna finish off this look with some inner corner highlight and I'm gonna use my favorite LA Colors highlight. This is the new eyeshadow or Bear It All, which is the name of it, Bear It All. And I just like taking a small little brush like this Pick up this color here and here. Boom, bam, done. So lastly, we're gonna go in and do the lips. So I've been in love with this Morphe lip gloss and it's in the shade Pixie. I got this at Ulta Beauty for $8 and I'm sure you can get it on their website as well. So just going to take it. It comes with a nice little applicator and it's a really pretty 
it has a purple undertone to it. I'll show you a swatch. But because my lips are already like dark, you really don't get to see the purple. But the gloss, glossiness of it is beautiful. So if you're a lighter complexion, you're really gonna see that really rich plum purple, which matches my sweater. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's not going to be too long, but this is just like my everyday little zhuzh that I wear when I'm going out and about or to work or just when I feel like I need to look pretty. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends. I really appreciate that. If you would Give me a big thumbs up if you like videos like this. If you want to see a more in-depth video on my favorite eyelashes or how I pick out eyelashes, let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to accommodate you guys with that video. But let's go ahead and end this by saying goodbye. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video.